Hello everybody and welcome to another video. So this video is going to show you how to download and install mods for Supermarket Simulator. I put out a video a few days ago in which people were asking me a lot in the comments how do I put this mod in the game, how do I download it, where do I put it, all of that. So if you've been wondering the same thing then this video is for you. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to download Toby's Bepinex and Melon Loader Pack for Supermarket Simulator. Very easy to do, simply click on it and then download. That is the same for all of the mods, so the RDC Stock Manager for example, also click on it and download. Now the thing to look out for with the mods is some of them are Bepinex and some of them are Melon Loader. Well how do you know that? Well usually down in the description of them or how to install it will tell you, but if it doesn't for some reason then in the requirements, for example, this one is a Bepinex mod. Uh, if we go to RDC Stock Manager, that one is a Melon Loader mod. Now, take note of that when you download them, because that will tell you where to put them later. Now, once you've downloaded your mods, you should find them in your Downloads folder. So as you can see here, I've downloaded my mods. So I've got a portable scanner, I've got some disabled shelf restocking, no writing labels, store delivery, RDC stock manager, and the, Belpin, uh, the Bepinex pack for Supermarket Simulator. So what do we need to do now? Well, the next thing we need to do is we need to find the game folder for Supermarket Simulator. Very easy to do. The easiest way to find it is to go into Steam, go over to this little wheel on the page of Supermarket Simulator, go down to Manage, go to Browse Local Files, and then there you go. That is exactly what we're looking for. So we can now go to our folder where our mods are and we're going to start extracting them. Now I use WinRAR for this, just seems easier so it works for all of them as well. So if you get WinRAR, extract here and these are the files we need. So what we're going to do is we're going to simply drag and drop into our Supermarket Simulator game folder. So these ones just go straight into the main folder of Supermarket Simulator. So there they are. That's the last thing we will ever do with those. We won't be changing those necessarily at any time. We will need to do one thing to get them to work though, and that is boot up the game. For example, at the moment, if we were to click in the melon loader, we have no options. Once we've loaded the game and it boot through a cycle of the game, then we will have things, mods and other folders will appear in here and then it's been initialized. So let's go ahead and do that now. So you only have to wait a few seconds. I usually wait between five and 10 seconds just to make sure that it's initialized. That should do it. So we're gonna quit straight out again now. And when we load up that uh, folder again, we can now see we have mods, plugins, user data, and user libs. So now we are ready to put some mods in our game. I'm just gonna get rid of these ones that we've just put in already because we don't need them anymore. So the first one we are going to uh, put in our game is the RDC Stock Manager. So all we have to do is come down to WinRAR, extract here. And there you go, that's given it to us. Now I already know that this is a Melon Loader mod. So all I have to do is open Melon Loader, Mods, and then just simply drag and drop. And that's all we have to do. Store Delivery I know is a Bepinex mod. So this is going to be slightly different, but still quite simple. Extract here. We get Store Delivery one point whatever it was. Then we've got Bepinex. Now we, what we can do here is we can now just copy this folder and just paste it into our main game folder. We just paste it here and as if by magic it works its way inside this Bepinex folder here and ends up in plugins and it's already done for you. You won't be able to do that with all of them but if you get a Bepinex folder you can do it that way. For example though to show you a difference the portable scanner, which is also a Bepinex mod, if we come to WinRAR and extract it here, this one just gives us a file a bit like Storm, uh, Stock Manager here. This one is a Bepinex file though, so we need to put this in the Bepinex plugins ourselves. So we can click on this here, go to plugins, and then just drop it in. Portable scanner, done. What's next? Uh, no overwriting labels. So again, extract it here. This is a Melon Loader mod, so again, we're going to open up our Melon Loader. So here we go, Melon Loader, mods, we're going to drag it across, and in it goes. And our final one, Disable Shelf for Restocking, I believe, is a Bepinex mod. So there you go, it's given us a Bepinex folder this time, so again, we can copy and paste this straight into the main game folder. And save ourselves a little bit of time, so we're going to just do that. 
paste it in there, and then that should be done. So now we can test our mods as quick as that. So now we're in the game. Let's see if our mods work. So can we cancel restocking shelves? Yes, we can. Can we check the stock? We can indeed. All of our stock levels are being shown. Can we order things straight to our storeroom? Yes, we can. That mod is also working okay. Can we use our portable scanner, which I've not actually used before, but can we use it? Yes, we can. And can we put this on any shelf we want? No, we can't, which is what we want. So there we go. Our mods are working and will assist us in our daily grind here on uh, Supermarket Simulator. If you have enjoyed this video and found it useful, please give the video a like. Consider subscribing and joining the channel if you haven't already. And I will see you for another video very soon.